Continentally, the race for Ivory Coast 2024. Lots of action, of course, in East Africa, also Kafa region, if you so wish. Tanzania are the only team to qualify for next year's AFCON. Uh, Dr. Ari, let's begin with you from there. Yeah, Tanzania has been very consistent, especially mm -hmm. with the local uh, mm -hmm. league. Mm -hmm. And I think that is where we need to go. Mm -hmm. In fact, I want, when I come here next time, mm -hmm. if Zita is listening to me, mm -hmm. I want to see a KPL team of the week, not an EPL team of the okay. week. Mm -hmm. we, charity begins at home. We really need to make sure that uh, we emphasize more on our league. Whether it is negative or positive, we start building. The little successes that we have, we should build. You've seen what Tanzania has done with the Yanga and Simba. Mm -hmm. I know people will say Yanga and Simba are doing very well, but if you look at what those guys are doing, it can be done here. If you are not for here. what we as FC God and these other people would do that is a bit negative, we can actually do it here. Arocho, before you go back to Zeta, what do you make of this? Tanzania back to AFCON, of course, Kenya, uh, we can only play friendlies now thanks to the FIFA sanction. And then again, look at Algeria, qualifying with almost 100% record. It is by design. Mm -hmm. Our soccer is by design, not by default. Mm. What do I mean? Look at what Tanzania has done. Mm. They made sure that they strengthened their leagues. And after you've strengthened your leagues, mm. it will move to the national team. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I give thanks to my friend Adele Amruch. Adele was sacked from Kenya uh, like somebody who could not really uh, do well as a coach. But look at what he's done. Picking a draw in North Africa. Guys, uh, I, I've watched Arambe Stars playing in, in North Africa. I was in the match uh, when uh, Kenya played Libya, mm. the match that was played in Tunisia. It is not easy to pick a point in, in, in the North. Mm. And if Adele Amruch moved to the North, in fact, Uganda won their match away and uh, Tanzania picked a draw away. It speaks volumes. And, and for me, the challenge is already there. And uh, the fact that we picked a, a, a win in our last outing, uh, uh, our last friendly, should be encouraging to the national team. And the fact that Tanzania has qualified for the AFCON should be another challenge. Mm -hmm. We must do this by design not by default. By design, and Zita tell us, when you're talking of by design, who are these players that have already qualified? Uh, before we go here, I just want to add on what uh, Arosha is saying. Adela won uh, Sekafa with the Rambe Stars in 2013, actually. We did beat uh, Egypt, uh, was it, I think, uh, no, um, was it Egypt? No. No. Or it, no, it Sudan. was uh, Sudan, Nini, Sudan. Sudan, actually two goals to nil and the, all the goals were scored by Alan Wanga. So that is what, it, he was a very good coach actually. In, um, so I'll just go here to see the qualifiers who have qualified for the AFCON 2024. Most of them, they're big boys here in Nigeria, Guinea-Bissau. Uh, that is in Group A with Bukinia Faso, Kevad, that is Group B, Egypt, Guinea, that is Group D, and then Ghana, Angola. You can see all the big boys have qualified for that. Um, Algeria and Tanzania again, uh, that is Group F, and Mali, Group G, Zambia, Ivory Coast, Group H. Group I, we have Mo uh, Mauritania and uh, DR Congo. And then we come to Group J, we have Tunisia, Sectorial Guinea, and then Group L, we have Senegal and Mozambique. We, we didn't put other groups here because, uh, uh, we didn't group, put other groups here because they've not finished their matches, so we cannot even uh, say who is going to win or who is, going, who is not going to win. So that is the teams that have qualified for AFCON 2024. Sweet Thank now. you, Zita, of course. That's the race for Ivory Coast next year. That's where the action will be. Our Rambistas will be following from the screens, but they have a chance to make up for that and go to the World Cup. And